Hi, Logan. Hello, my, uh, my YouTube people. Welcome to my podcast. I can do this a second time because uh, it cut out on me. I was in the middle of a pregame conference between the Maple Leafs while well, they prepare for their game against the Boston Bruins. I will take you back to the live press conference for tonight's game. And just a reminder, I'll be back today with the Raptors highlights and Maple Leaf highlights. So you will have two episodes of sports updates tonight. So I'm not going to start from the beginning of the press conference. I'm, gonna, I'm going to start where I left off. So enjoy the rest of this press conference. Are you worried about not getting a clean shave? Come and try this man's favorite mini razor. Selected German imported steel plate. Two teams that don't like each other, so um, you know we're gonna have to you know, show we can get up for this one. What sort of feeling? Yeah, I mean, uh, you have a quick flashback, but uh, you know that was last year, and um, you know you just. We're looking forward to this year and what we can, what we can do in the postseason this year. So, um, you know, I, I think you, you remember, but you forget. How much confidence and trust has Stolarz built up with you guys with the way he started this season? I mean, he's been unbelievable. He's been he's been steady uh, every game he's played. Um, you know, he's, he's given us a chance to win every day. So, uh, obviously, a lot of confidence when he's in the net. And, um, yeah, expect it again. How would you describe his personality, like, around the guys? What's he like? Uh, pretty laid back. Yeah. yeah, loves his sports. Talks a lot about every sport out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he loves uh, he loves all sports. So um, you know, that's a lot of the conversations. Were yeah. you guys watching the World Series last night? You see the you know what? I, I forgot it was on, oh. and I I did not see it. Unfortunately, to be honest, I'm not a huge baseball guy. Yeah, there's no no contact in baseball, so it's uh, not really for me. Like yeah. switch the stick around for your little tip drill there. At I the was end. feeling it in the tip, yeah. so I figured I'd. Switch around. I started doing that with uh, Kreider in New York. Actually, he does it, and it's obviously very, very good in front of the net. So, um, yeah, it just kind of works on the hand eye a little bit more. Uh, Stephen Lorenz moving up the lineup. Like, what, what have you noticed about him? What sort of impression has he made? I mean, he's he's been steady all year. He's uh, obviously had a good camp and made a good impression. And he's come in, and um, you know, I, I love playing with him. He plays physical, direct, and you know, I think he brought that to uh, you know to Johnny's line last game. Um, so yeah, he's he's been he's been good where he's, wherever he's been slotted in. But he's uh, you know he's a lot of fun to play with. I think all the boys are positive. We know we have to be better. Uh, you know, we have to learn from those uh, two games and then forget about it, you know? Learn and forget. 82-game uh, season, uh, you can dwell on those uh, little uh, games. Uh, I think uh, all the boys are going to be prepared to play tonight and make sure we come out hungry. What's the biggest thing, biggest thing you learned from, from the last couple of games to get into tonight? Oh, it's just like it, take nothing for granted, right? We had a good game uh, against Tempo, and then coming af after that game and playing like that, it's uh, not something you want to do often. You want to be as uh, um, constant as possible. So for us, I think it's just uh, getting our groove back, finding our identity, and just being uh, aggressive to play, uh, hard to play against, and just uh, 
bring that uh, mindset every game. What sort of uh, extra emotions are there when you're placing the team that knocked you out last year in, in the building where it happened? Yeah, no. Uh, obviously, uh, there's a sorry taste a bit, but you know, like it's last year. Uh, this year it's a new year. Like I said, you have to learn about those years, uh, forget, and then you just have a new year, new team, right? You just uh, we have to build forward, look forward, and see where it, it brings us. What sort of confidence and trust has Anthony Stolarz built up with the way he's started this season with you guys? No, I mean like I, I played with Soli for four years, three years in Anaheim, so I know uh, I know how he is. Uh, he's a big boy, you know. He he started real well with us. And I'm sure he's going to continue to play like that. He's a you know he's a great goalie. He sees the puck and he plays the puck real well. So for us, D, it's really helpful, you know, when you know your goalie is playing the puck. Uh, so I'm sure uh, you know it's, uh, he's going to keep uh, doing the same that he's been doing. What sort of impression has Lorenz made on you? Good, good too. Same thing. He's, uh, you know, he just uh, won the cup, right? So he, he knows what it takes. Uh, he's good on the walls, physical. It brings the bring his body to the net. He's not scared to get in those little dirty corners. So uh, I'm excited to see how he grows within the team for sure. How are you feeling about your game early in the season? It's all right. You know, like it's early season. Uh, you always try to improve yourself. Uh, I can't say I'm satisfied with the way I play, but you know, just trying to build on uh, what I do good and work on my. Um, you know the the thing I've been doing last good, so from there I just like I said keep building, keep building, and just trying to improve myself every day, every game. Uh, what do you like? Flexible ways to redeem, including flights, car rentals, and hotels, with the TD Aeroplan Visa Business Card. The NAPT is back. Screen your way to Las Vegas with an NAPT Gold Pass. What do you like about how the team's responding to a couple of tough, tough results? Yeah, uh, we're, we're, we're trying to keep it light. It's a long season, right? Like, you can't hit the panic button eight games into the season. Um, a lot of things are going to happen, and, you know, it's a new system and stuff like that. So it takes time, or it takes time for, for guys to adjust a little bit. So uh, we're kind of going through that right now. But, you know, we know what we have to do. We just have to do things harder and a little bit faster. And uh, if we do that, we'll be okay. How would you describe the intensity of that panthers Bruins series? Like, like, what was it like to be part of that one? Yeah, it, it was a war, and we kind of knew that um, that was going to be one of our stronger tests in the playoffs. Um, just looking around at teams, uh, I think we felt that that was a group that played pretty close to the, the same systems that we did in Florida, so um, we knew it was going to be a war, and, and that's what we got out of them. You know, there were some close games, and uh, it was a hard-fought battle right to the end. Some of the other guys were talking about a sour taste walking in, a bit of a flashback. Do you have a smile when you walk into this building, considering what happened last year? I had a smile, but I still got the sour taste, too. You know, it's, there, there's still a rivalry that, you know, being a Leafs fan growing up, you know, I never really like these guys a whole lot, and uh, you know, I don't think they like us either. So, um, you know, that comes with the rivalry going way back, and um, I'm just excited for for a great matchup head to head. It's going to be a good test for group, both groups. So, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. I'm more excited than anything. What, what's it mean to get a look beside John on that line? It was cool, definitely cool. Um, those guys think and play the game at a very high level, and Robbie too. You know, he's obviously got that and never stops going. And John's just so good with the puck. So, I was just trying to not change my game and, and you know simplify things and just be a big body. And you know, we had some good shifts. But, uh, you know, it, it doesn't matter who you're playing with in this lineup. Uh, you know, there's, there's good players all up and down the roster, so it doesn't really matter. As long as you bring your game, then you're going to have success. What are the conversations like when you do get put with new guys as you try to figure out how to best complement one another? Yeah, I, I think some guys think you have to go in and, and change your game. I think uh, John did a good job. I just went and talked to him and said, you know, what do you want from me tonight? And, uh, he just said, let's just be hard on the forecheck. And, um, you know, that, it's something that, that that's a strong asset in my game. And um, I think, you know, just being able to go into the corners and, and get those guys the puck and let them do the skill work. And I just go to the net and maybe bang one in. I think that's a, that's a recipe that we talked about. And, uh, you know, it was easy to play with those guys. They're very understanding. And, um, you know, if you have questions and stuff, they're, they're approachable. And, uh, yeah, it was great. So it was, it was a lot of fun to do that, uh, play with those guys. And, like I said, it doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. It's, you know, you're playing with good players. Shooting on uh, Anthony yeah. before the skate begins, is that date yeah. back to your Florida days? Is he your go-to guy? Are you the go-to guy for him for those warm-ups? I don't know about that yet. Okay. You know, okay. Bobby last year, that was uh, right out of training camp, so okay. we're a little behind the eight ball there, but we had a pretty good warm-up there. I put some pretty good shots, and yeah. I felt like I was, you know, I was pretty comfortable in that spot. So, um, okay. you know, hopefully tonight if I'm shooting from that spot, I'm not shooting it right in the goalie's glove. <laughs> Are you expecting tonight a Bruins team that's lost a few in a row as well? Yeah, it'll be a hard game for sure. You know, they've... Uh, they're going to come out hard. They always do. They're a very good team and uh, a lot of history with these two teams, as you guys know. So I expect a you know, hard game from both teams. In general, what kind of relationship do you like to have with your captain? Like, how frequently do you communicate 
how important is that the head coach captain wins? No, it's important. Um, you know, not only the captain, but you know everybody. But I get what you're saying with the captain. I mean, you know, Matthew and I we talk probably daily. You know, and sometimes it's just conversation. But then there's times that we talk about stuff and personal with him and what's going on and the team and things like that. So, you know, I'm I'm you know I'm big on that, um, making sure you know. If anything's bothering him or what I have on my, you know, in my head at the time, I want to discuss it with him. What's your sense of the, the pulse of the, the room right now? A couple yeah. of tough losses. Like, what's well, the, what's this, the, spirit, the spirit? Yeah, their spirit's good. Yeah. I thought, like, in practice yesterday, like, you you know, you correct things with video and talk and, and all that, and then you go out and you work on things and practice. And I thought that uh, the spirit was good in practice and the energy. And guys, you know, they, they're ready to go tonight. I mean, they're they're disappointed too. We, you know, that's the way it is in the game. You know, players aren't happy either when you know not winning, not playing well. You know, so they understand that. What so team goes through a little bit of adversity? What have you learned about the right things and the wrong things to say to them in this situation? That's a feel thing, I think, more than anything. And I think you know, throughout the year, when you do go through adversity, you you look at how you're playing the game and what you're seeing and. You know, if it's an effort thing, if it's a battle thing, what it, what it is. You know, there is mistakes made in the game, every game. But uh, depending on the situation is how I handle that. What's your sense of if uh, Max Pacioretty is healthy enough for you to go you are mentioning yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, he, if he, you know, he feels like he's ready to go and he's he's good to go. He'll be in the lineup. Any other lineup changes you foresee? Yeah, there will be one on defense too. So what, what can Myers give you if he gets a chance? Well, he came into camp and earned a spot. Um, you know, he played physical. He was good on a penalty kill. He, he, you know, he was defending very well back there. He's a big guy. You know, just a simple game, but hard to play against is the best way I can put it. And he, he killed well for us in uh, preseason. What does Timothy have to do to get back in? Well, I mean, right now it's a little bit of a numbers game. I know I threw him in there for a game, um, and it's hard with one game. I mean, he's got to be patient right now. I mean, that's just the way it is. We make decisions um, as a staff in an organization of what we feel is best at the time. So he's working on his game, and he's working, and, you know, he'll get another opportunity. What stands out to you about Riley, his game, and the way he started this season? Um, you know, Riley's a good player. I mean, Real good puck mover and sees the ice well and makes plays. And, um, you know, I think, you know, the one thing I stressed with him earlier on in the summertime and throughout camp is just killing killing plays in our zone and being responsible defensively. You guys brought Hawk and Paw and Dewar on this trip. I imagine they're getting somewhere, somewhat close. Yeah, and I thought it was good for them to come and be around the players and the team. Um, you know, and getting on the ice with the guys a little bit, you know, here now. So they're they're getting to the point where it's getting close. So Lars, uh, was it, you know, he didn't even play in those last two games. We spent so much time talking about it. What what sort of confidence and trust do you feel like he's built up with the group just with the way he started this season? Yeah, well, a lot because he's played extremely well and you know, he's been confident in that and he's done what he had to do to give us a chance to win every night.